Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and on this channel I am documenting my journey playing Gran Turismo. Well, all sorts of racing sims, but at the moment we're working on Gran Turismo. Now, we have been working on the licenses recently and I really ought to head over to the license centre and get on with the super license. However, as you'll see here, the super license is all complete tracks. And some of these are in really quick cars and some of them really worry me. Um, I've taken half an hour to do the national, each of those two, an hour to do each of the internationals, which means I should be able to do all of these supers in a couple of hours, but I just know it's going to take a lot longer. So for this video, I'm actually going to head into where the game is prompting us, into World Circuits. One of the other reasons why I'm doing this is that we recently spent two million credits on a, Bug um, a Bugatti. Um, if you want to see why I bought that car rather than waiting, then I have got a video on the channel about why, when and where to buy cars. So please check that one out. Uh, but because the credits are now down to a million, I thought we'd head over to Asia and we'll do the Suzuka circuit and this uh, Sukuba circuit and see if we can get a few more credits on the board and just uh, you know, give us that little comfort feeling just in case we do need to buy anything. So if I go into Tsukuba, we've got the option of the FF Challenge 450, the Clubman Cup and of course the Circuit Experience. So we can get a nice 360,000 credits for completing that. But I'm going to start off with the FF Challenge and we need to have a road car so we'll change our car i'm going to go with the integra type that we won recently and uh it looks like we can use any of the tires so if we go across the race shop then you in here you can purchase any of the tires that you might need for this particular race now i've already bought the uh, racing soft tires and those are the ones that i'm actually going to put on the car and use in this particular race. I've got that set up already. So if we enter the race, we are doing two laps of this particular track. It's a new track to us, so we're going to be feeling our way a little bit. Maybe I should have done the circuit experience first. Remember, we've been caught with that before. But just for now, we will just run with this. I'm just going to check the assist settings. So we're manual. Traction control one, ABS is default, auto drive off. I'm going to leave the corner indicators on just because I'm not used to this track. And pretty much everything else is set to my normal settings. Again, that's another video that I will go through with the settings. Uh, I'll do that one at some point in the future. So if you want to see that one, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications of when I release that channel or just trying to get it slow down and not tag the back of that Integra. I any I suggest we can. Yeah, click the bell for notifications of when that video and any of my other videos come out. I value all my subscribers. I'm trying to grow this channel at the moment and get 100 subscribers. So please, please consider subscribing. And in the meantime, I'm going to, to shut up and get on with this race. It just overtook a couple of cars on the way through there. Coming up on fourth place now. Now this is a very short lap, so we have got to get on with this. Now second gear to get it turned in, get it around the corner, see if we can get on the back of these two. Slingshot those as we go up this straight. So we've got Yamanaka in front of us, if that's pronounced correctly. Just get this slowed down for this corner so we don't, whoa, back end going a little bit there, so we don't, uh, don't rinse this corner too quickly. Okay, we made some good progress on him through that corner. So we've now got one full lap to do an overtake here. So we will just back off a little bit. Oh, crikey, breaking, breaking, breaking all the way through that corner. Normally we break into the corner and drive through it, but it's breaking all of the time. Really got to be quite careful with these um, AI cars sometimes. We tend to Drive a little bit unpredictably. Something that is very, very different when you go online and you get real people. 
that are very consistent. But there we go. So halfway around the second lap and we are already up into first place and all we've got to do is keep it clean and tidy. Haven't really needed to talk about this lap too much. It's just really been a case of watching for the turning points, breaking in a straight line, turning in nice and smoothly as usual, just feeling for when that back end is going to step out, feathering the throttle, getting the power down through the corner, up through the gears and across the line for first place. So really easy. I think we were up against another integral, so that wasn't a complete cheat, um, but certainly a very easy win. We've actually got a no assistance required um, award for that one, and a clean race, which is rather nice. So we've got a trophy and a clean race, and we win the Swift. So that's two of the three cars that we need. So we now just need the Civic Type R, which I'm hoping we're going to get at Suzuka when we head over there. Uh, not quite sure whether we'll get there in this video. Depends on how quickly we can get through these challenges. Okay, so the next challenge we've got is the Club and Cup. So we can change the car. Wow, look at the cars we can get so many different cars uh, what are we up against so we've got an MR2 Civic R33 Eunice Roadster um, I could go silly and go with the Taycan or the Veyron although when the bars are flashing like this it does mean that you are out of scope so you're going to need to change one or two things I'm actually going to go for the BRZ here or the BRZ depending on where you live. Um, the tyres, we can go sports, hard, medium and soft. I definitely don't want to go hard and I don't have the softs. So we go across to the race shop, we get the softs. And back to car settings and we will drop those on. And we'll see how we do in this particular race. So we've got other cars that we could call on if we need to, but we have got five laps to get through the pack. We're starting off in fifth. So we're starting off mid, mid lap. So false starts with your ping lights. Please be sure to keep your foot on the brake. Okay, so foot on the brake, off. Okay, we can have our foot on the accelerator. Oh, nearly hit that car. Took off so much faster. And then I missed the gears that completely completely through me I have to say so we're now on the back foot we could be so much further up the field um, that completely threw me at start so now we're gonna have to try and keep it clean and have to work our way through this traffic wow there's a portion there as well so going up against the 911 that would have been a good car to have Chosen if I had a choice. You see, we're actually having to drive pretty quickly. Be careful not to get into too deep. Oh, slight nudge there. Oh, he gives me a tap on the way out. Tip for tap, I guess. Knock for knock. Hopefully, that will still give us a clean lap, clean race. Okay, using these. Uh, Skid marks as a braking marker there, down at the third gear. Just feathering the throttle through so we can get on the back of this Toyota. In the fourth gear, using the slipstream here as we go up this, uh, this short straight. Again, watching for the braking point, watching for the turning point. A little deep, oh, a little deep into that one. You can feel the slide. Into the third, watching for the apex here. just a slight dab of second gear just to help get it turned in but we did actually catch the Toyota a little bit quicker than I expected through there well, we had to get on the back of him now this race is going away from me a little bit watching for the skid marks braking down into second get it turned in not on the accelerator too quickly oh, 
on the accelerator as quick as we can though. Into the third. And you can see that the third, second and first place are really getting away from us here. So this car is a fairly fairly fair car, that's a really bad choice of word, a fair car to try this challenge. We're not running away with this one like we have a few of the others. I should have gone with the Mustang. Oh, just trying to get it turned in. Just trying to get on the back of this Toyota. So I think our start really let us down here in this race. We're on lap three and we're really still not making much headway. And the cars in front we need to be going a lot lot quicker. In fact that Toyota is getting away from me at the moment. I'm gonna just concentrate on the racing for the moment rather than talking. It's a little bit better. He's still going away from me. Whoa! So that Porsche has now come through. Whoa! Oh. I don't know why he came off that corner so slowly. I'm trying to push my braking points a little bit more now because I felt I was braking a little bit too early with that Porsche coming through and oh, around we go. Oh, nightmare. Nightmare. That was on the accelerator too early. I was over 45 degrees turning on the uh, on the steering when I accelerated uh, too hard. So the accelerator went in too quickly. And yeah, that's a that's a write off. I think we're definitely going to need a quicker car for this particular race. I've got the cars behind me are catching me. The cars in front are going away. Everything I can at the moment just to try and hold on to 10th place. What a disaster. Final lap. Can I get anywhere near these cars in front? Can I just pick up one or two places? See, this game is not all about just jumping in a car and going for it and getting first place all the time. It can at times be challenging. Now, maybe I've just not driven very well, which is probably the case. Maybe this was the wrong car. When we go online, there's a term, Metacar, M-E-T-A, and that is the best car for a particular track uh, that the guys tend to try to get. And I have a very funny feeling that the this, uh, this car I'm in is not a Metacar for this race at all, by any stretch of the imagination. We definitely need something a little bit quicker. Ah! Appalling. Appalling. Not at all happy with that one. Mitchell, 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 what are you doing? We definitely don't want to watch that. Um, we go for an exit. Um, there's Porsches and all sorts of cars in there. So I think that we will change the car. Uh, my Taycan is just going to be far too fast. So is the Veyron. Um, I'm not quite sure what to go for. I think I might. The Scirocco? Difficult to know. I might actually go for the Scirocco. And if we struggle with the Scirocco, so the PP needs to be 500 or less. 
Um, if I go to the detailed settings, we are currently sitting at 577. Hmm. So if we come out of here and we go to the tuning shop for the Scirocco, the other two cars are going to be way too fast. Um, we can buy a few bits and pieces in here. So how much do I want to buy? Bearing in mind, I'm supposed to be making some cash. Um, I'm actually going to go with the better brakes. I'm going to go with the, because the, the braking was a bit grotty in that last race. And I also want to grab, uh, if I can find it, the ballast. Where's ballast? There we go. So I've got ballast, which I'll buy. And we'll also go for the um, what should we go for? The brake balance controller. Dual steering I don't want. I think we are going to need a fully customized computer, I think, which hopefully will enable us just to tune the car a little more. So if we go back to World Circuits, so just to remind ourselves, for this particular race, we need 550 or less. So go to car settings, so 550 or less. Um, we can increase the ballast. Let's just take that up halfway. Ooh. And we'll redo the measurement. So that's 579 that's taken us down, Sue. So we need to go full ballast. 569. Output adjustment. Take that down to halfway. 546, 548, 556 are so too high now. 554, 552. So just adjusting this until, as you can see over on the left hand side there, we've got a 548.99. Uh, we can now come back down to the ballast. Just take that down to 195. Just trying to get this as close to 550 as we can. Let's just take this over. Oops. 549. Okay, that's as close as we're going to get. So I think that going for the Porsche and the Veyron, we're just never going to get it near to the performance points. So hopefully this car will give us a little bit of a, a better chance. Now I know this time that I've got to get a better start. So we've got accelerator fully depressed, brake, off the brake, into second gear. Oh, still getting mugged off the line. Full focus really came through quite quickly, getting nudged from behind. Actually getting pushed into the cars in front. Should probably show second gear through there. I uh, need to get my elbows out a little bit on this race if I'm perfectly honest. So we're going to go for a clean race. But we might just need to do a little bit of rubbing just to open some doors just to get through these cars. Oh, tap from behind again. These AI cars do like tapping you. There's a fine line between choosing second gear in this race and third gear. Um, 
because I don't want to spin out but also I want to get the power off the corners back end just going a little bit there just having to feather that a little bit okay, so these two cars are not getting away from us on this occasion Try and get the power down it doesn't really seem to be that much between second and third gear in this car so I'm just going to probably use second gear to get the car turned in and then third gear just to keep it planted a little bit more as you can see there straight up to the third gear need to push don't want these cars to get away too much so second gear just to get it turned in or it's got a bit wide just trying to get the power down can we get him out the corner just trying to come back felt I left him enough room a bit of a nibble on the way through watching those turning in points now watching the apexes for the corners so we get the power down as soon as we can just being minded on steering inputs so not burying the brake the accelerator when we're still turning too hard just break in on those those skid marks there oh gone a little bit deep just going to put the um, radar on just so I can see cars coming up behind. That's something I should probably put on at the beginning of the race. So it took my attention while I was just cycling through the options there. Yeah, second gear, it's okay for getting the car turned in, but it's really not doing too much with regards to drive off of the corners, other than this slow one. Get on the back of this car in front. He's just a little bit quicker out of that corner. I need to watch his line and what he's doing. Just break on there. The skip march to try and carry the speed through this corner. It does tighten. So you've got to be a little bit careful. So thinking now about just getting onto the back of this car. Go with third gear so we go, don't go too deep. Just want to try and get on the back of him. So we've got what? Just under two laps to do this. So just thinking about way through that corner just to close up a little bit. That is an area where we're quicker, so that could be an overtaking opportunity on the last lap. However, it'd be nice to get it done a little bit sooner. So we've got a good run on him here. Watching for where he's braking, we're going to brake a tad later. Didn't quite get close enough. Just want to try and stay on the back of him through here. Try and keep the slipstream up this straight. Watching for the braking point, turning in. I should probably have been a bit further over on the left hand side through there. It would have enabled me to carry a bit more speed through the corner. My line was probably all wrong there. We close up on the braking without going too deep. Just snatch second gear to try and get a bit of speed. Now this is the corner where I thought we might be able to do it. Fortunately we're a bit too far back. Panic mode now, running out of laps, running out of time. It's going to have to be through this last corner. So try and get up the inside, first gear, just try and get it turned around. Oh, that was a nudge. That was quite a hefty nudge actually, that might have cost me a clean race bonus. He's still there, just defending this corner. Oh, he's pushed me, oh, just trying to carry a bit more space through this corner. Still nudging me, still nudging, foot in, fourth gear, come on, did we do it? That was tough. Yes, we did. Oh, a fair bit of argy-bargy going on in that particular race. But we did get first gear, first place. That's, uh, that's good. That's good. So, and we got by a whisker. So that was very, 
very close. We did get clean bonus, which is really good news. So even though there was a bit of rubbing going on, uh, that was uh, that was okay. So might actually watch this one, see how we did. So we got a reasonable start off the line, um, although the Focus and the Mitsubishi behind were significantly quicker. We got uh, jumped into that first corner. From here it's a case of just trying to settle down, get into a rhythm. Also get a feel for this car, it's not a car that I've driven very much. Managed to get up the inside of the Focus nice and cleanly there using that green part of the track, that um, AstroTurf or whatever it is. And at this point we're looking to get onto the back of the car in front, this Golf. Looking for a way past here which opened it up, itself up, an opportunity to go down the inside, which then did put us a little bit deep into the next corner. But now my attention has shifted to getting onto the back of the car in front of us whilst also defending from the car behind. Minded that the focus was coming through pretty quickly here, so I took a bit of a defensive line through there, which meant that we did drop back a little bit from, I think it's Nissan in front of me. Very aware that this focus was very, very quick very quick. I can't remember exactly when I put the radar on but that was one of the reasons um, I was aware that he, he was there. So the Nissan, we're on the back of the Nissan here now, We've got a little bit of space to focus behind. Not enough but a little bit so watching for all of the braking points, all of the turning points, trying to apex the corners uh, and at this point the car was actually starting to get a little bit slidey uh, but all of the time we're just trying to get on the back of the Nissan the opportunity opened itself up there some um, BTC style old classic British touring car style racing there where we uh, the door was open but just to open it just a tad more to get by on the Nissan which that Nissan is a pretty quick car and we've got another one to chase down the road. So now we've made a little bit of a gap to the car behind, which is giving me the opportunity now to really concentrate on the car in front. Again, just looking for these apexes, trying to keep this clean, trying to keep it smooth, not too deep through there, but still wanted to carry enough speed through the corner so that we try and just make a few tenths every single corner, just trying to make a little bit more progress on the car in front. Did quite well through there, so managed to close up quite nicely on the car in front while continuing to build this gap behind. Pushing on a little bit wide through the exit of that corner meant that I lost just a small amount of traction maybe some dirty tyres, uh, we just lost a little bit of traction through there, but knuckling down, back in the groove now, nicely apex that corner, just dipping the tyres in the mud again, we're okay there, and just pretty much even Stevens to the car in front here, there's just one or two corners where we were able to outbreak the car in front and get on the back of him, but you can see through here very nicely through these corners, apexing, apexing them really well. That was where I realised that I could take quite a lot of the corner using that Astro uh, without getting any penalties. So that was in the back of my mind as well, that I could use that extra bit of area, extra bit of my track uh, to get past this car. Looked for a move into that corner, but unfortunately the door was always going to close and I was really going to hit him hard, so we backed out of that one. But minded that we have really got to make a move on this car very soon, and unfortunately backing out of that corner has meant that we've actually dropped back a little bit. Thankfully we haven't dropped back too much to the car behind, and we're looking for a really good exit here, a good run down this straight and trying now to get back onto first place car. Made some 
good progress through that particular corner, looking for the edge of the track on the exit there, using all of the track to try and keep the speed up. Pretty much off the track there, back to using my green AstroTurf to make up some progress. And I think this is where the panic started to set in. It's like, I'm really not catching this car. I've got to do something brave. Carried some good speed through there. And this was the opportunity. He went a tad wide there, the door opened. I ran a little bit wide there, causing him to break. And then it was a straight run to the line. And he actually got a better run off that corner. So he's coming back at me all the time. And that was a really tight there we've actually um i thought that was a line it isn't it's the line is coming up so we're battling all the way through here he's right with me and we just managed to get first place off of that last corner so the, the corner before the last one he got some real turn of speed uh, actually quite lucky that we managed to get first place in that one but we did and that's good so we've got the two races done now we're going to head down to the circuit experience, which is going to be a whole different ball game. So we've got three sectors to do plus the full lap and we're looking to go all gold as usual. Uh, you'll see how easy it is to get bronze, but we want to go all gold. So we are in the Lancer Evolution, which is a lovely car. Uh, we can't tune it in any way. So it's just a case of getting into the lap. Uh, as far as the assist settings are concerned, um, I'm just going to stick with the corner markers, etc. But I am going to turn on the demonstration ghost and half a second before. So we will go start. This is going to be down the short straight, the wriggly bit, which we quite like, into the tight left hand up to the line. So. Let's see how we do. We need to do this in a 24-2. So, I can break a little bit later than I have been breaking in the previous race. Just watch the corner through here. Turned in. How much can we take? Oh, that's sliding. Okay. A totally different experience to the uh, Scirocco that we've just been driving. But second gear was not a good idea through there. Third gear, just let it run around. Get it straight, get it straight. Get it turned in. Right, we cannot take too much of that corner. So I am going to need to keep a tyre on the track through there. Third gear. Oh, still going too fast through there, carrying too much speed through that corner. And the power took quite a while to come in there. So I think we do actually want to be using second gear for some of these corners. That's a 25026. We need to go significantly quicker than that. So break in, down into second gear, get it turned in. Just let it run, get the power down as soon as we can. Up to third gear, watching for the apex. Break on the apex of that corner, down into second gear, get it turned in. Trying to get the power down as soon as we can. I think we still need to go just a little bit quicker. So as I've said before in videos, this is all about just improving every single time. So braking down into second gear to get this turned in. Watching for the apex. Accelerate out of the corner as soon as we can. Changed up a little bit too early there. Come down into second gear for this corner, get it turned in, take a little bit of that curve, but not too much. Let it run to the line. Oh, slid out too much there. Just a little bit eager on the exit. Something to remember for the next time. Just 
straightened, brake, second gear, get it turned in. Power as quick as we can. Oh, still silver. Still silver. These challenges are certainly getting more difficult as we progress through the game. Which is the way it should be. It should be getting harder, it should be getting more challenging. learning from the ghost car here. Right, just a little bit later there. Get it turned in, get on the power. And there we go, 23.9. Oh, okay, took too many attempts to do that one. Just off of Kushti, but not worried about that. So this one, we've got the rigged section round to the tight hairpin. Let's see how we do this to it. Just checking the traction control, but we can't actually set the traction control. I think I need to take a little bit more corner through there. Looking for the braking zones. Oh, come on, get the power down. Twenty-one two, so that's uh, that's a little bit better. Getting the feel for this car. The first time out, it was um, just trying to get a feel for how this car behaves on this track. So we're getting confidence in the track, we're getting confidence in the car, we're getting confidence in everything, and hopefully it will come better, and better, and better as we. We continue through this. So 21.07. I feel I can go a lot faster, but again, I'm not too worried about where we come. Okay, we got top there. Sector three is the straight drag down to the fast right hander, which is actually more taxing than you think. It looks very easy, but this is all about breaking points and carrying the speed through the corner. This is going to be about braking, it's going to be about gears, it's going to be about everything. Getting the power down. Oh, not too... Not, ah. As I said, this is a bit about everything. It's balancing the car, gears, the whole lot. May well be one to jump into the ghost car and have a look at the demonstration and see where that car is braking. what lines he's taking, etc. It's a little bit better, I don't think that's quick enough. Oh, it is, we've got gold. I can go faster than that, but I'm not worrying about it. I've got gold and that's good enough for me. Certainly more time to find. So now we've got to put the full lap together and see if we can go gold and get those all important credits. Again, we've got the, the ghost car that we're going to be chasing down. Um, we only need to be close to the ghost car. Remember that ghost car is half a second ahead of us. So if we can get close to the ghost car and stay with him, then that should give us a gold. I feel that I'm a bit too far away at the moment. too far away just trying a bit more speed through there and make some time up through this corner just get it turned in get on the power thinking about this corner now where we're going to break where we're going to get it turned in to carry as much speed as we can through here just feathering the accelerator being careful not to drift out too wide run to the line. So a 59.5, uh, done in 60 seconds. I'm not quite sure what that is all about. Um, so 59.5, so we still got more time to find. Whoa, second gear was too much and it's totally unsettled the car. Let's 
from the third gear through there, definitely not second. Oh, I've got all over the place this time. Yeah, throw that one off the track, that was awful. Uh, totally unsettled on the first corner and not really worth carrying on. Good third gear, get it settled down. Oh, big slide, that's not going to be good. Now there's a lot of people out on YouTube that are putting Gran Turismo videos out and a lot of them are just showing their best runs. What I'm trying to do on this channel is give people a really good idea of what this game is really like. So a lot of these videos are not edited. You're going to see all of the runs that I do, all of the mistakes that I do. I'm going too wide there because I'm talking again. Um, so please feel free to skip through the video if you wish to or just uh, follow along. Oh, wrong gear then, turned up way too soon. I'm, right, I'm going to throw this off the track and I'm going to shut up and get this gold. Still looking for areas where I can find a little bit more time, how much corners I can cut, different lines I can take. I'm just trying to get a little bit closer to the ghost car on that first corner, which gives me a bit of a jump on the rest of the lap. Ghost car is actually sucking me in a little bit on that corner, which means I'm then going a little bit too fast and therefore a little bit too deep. It might be time to bring the ghost car a little bit closer to me. enough. Okay, so we've got a new record. Um, I'm going to exit out of there and I am going to bring the ghost car just a little bit closer. I'll set it to 0.3 I think. And we'll go again. There's not a lot in it, it's close. So just learning all the time from what we're doing. No, that's too deep. Got that all wrong. Now this is a short lap, so what I could do is to have a look at the ghost car and see what gears he's using. I'm just feeling that I, I'm not feeling the gears on this one. Okay, so let's just exit out of there. Come across to the demonstration. 
So, through here, we come in up to third, fourth, third, second. Stick into third through there. We do for this one second, second gear for that one. And for this long one, third gear feathering through there. Remember, you've forgotten all of it already. <laughs> Down to third for that one. Straighten down second for this one. Around, power down as soon as we can, up to third. And leave this in third, just take a bit of the curve there, not out too wide. Just not quite got the line right through that corner. I think we can take a lot more corner on the way in, but we need to be careful that we don't drift out too wide. Broke a little bit too early there. better. Still not close enough. Just learning from that line. Feathering it through here. Fifty-eight nine. There we go. So actually watching the ghost cart did help a little bit. Uh, the feathering, the gearing, the lines. Sometimes just looking at that ghost car can make uh, quite a fair bit of a difference. Pretty sure Kushti's gone faster than me, but that doesn't matter yet. Um, marginally. So not too worried about that because all I'm interested in is getting gold and getting what have we got? 48,000 credits there. Uh, we've got a driving marathon ticket, 60,000 for all bronze and 300,000 for all gold. So that will have bought the credits up a fair bit. So one and a half million. So we've acquired our car for the FF Challenge. We've done the Clubman Cup and got first and we've done our circuit experience and gone all gold. I think that's taken us around about 50 minutes and I'm going to take a break. So that will be this video finished. In the next one, we're gonna head off to Suzuka where we're going to need to do another uh, front wheel drive challenge. We need a GR3 car for a two chili race. The other one I think was, was higher than that, the one we just done, maybe a three or four, I can't remember. But a two chili race should be reasonably doable, as soon as we've got the appropriate car. And we've also got the circuit experience in a stonkingly quick car with multiple sectors. And we're looking at 200,000 credits for bronze and a million for gold. So a nice chance to get us very close to the 3 million credits that we were at when we bought the Veyron. So that will be a really useful session. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying following me along, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you get notification of when I'm doing Suzuka. And if you like this video, please smash that like button. It all helps the channel and I am extremely grateful. For now, that is 
this challenge completed and I look forward to seeing you at Suzuka very soon. Take care. Bye bye.